Hello YouTube, Librarian Larry here, back with a little update video, kind of responding to the video I made yesterday. Now yesterday I made a video talking about the TTR hate that's been going on on the subreddit lately, and how the TTR staff and the TTR community in general can help fix it. Well today Joey made quite a long post on the reddit explaining what's been going on and steps he's going to take to improve it, so I will now read that post to you guys and then talk about it a little bit at the end. So again, everything past this point is going to be said by Joey and not me. Game designers? Absolutely. Professionals? Not yet. When I started out with Toontown Time Rewritten, my experience was next to none. For most of us, that was the exact case, but boy did we want to keep Toontown going. You guys all know this, and we've talked about the whole story and some of the trials we faced because of this during our second Toonfest panel. One thing that we may have not touched on as well though, is that we're still not experts. We know a heck of a lot more than we knew three years ago, and we built up a successful game, but to this day we still face issues that we haven't encountered before. The fact of the matter is, running an MMO is hard. A lot of professional game designers can't even pull it off, working as full-time paid employees. By what I can only describe as a sheer miracle, we managed to build up a game with 1 million registered players while still balancing school, work, and the fact that we received no income for our efforts. I myself have put part of that effort without even finishing my first semester of college. Everything I described there is a massive accomplishment. It's an accomplishment that one would expect a professional to achieve, and in that lies the problem. We aren't professionals. The gravity of the accomplishments we've made so far have put a lot of pressure on us to continue making accomplishments of that magnitude, if not bigger. That pressure isn't necessarily from the community either, we put it on ourselves. Without failure, what is your success? As a favorite quote of mine from a stereotypical graduation speech. There's a reason why it's brought up in graduation speeches so often, however, because there is so much truth posted in that question. We failed. We're going to fail too. We failed, failed again, and we're going to fail some more. Doomsday, one of our most widely loved updates, started out as a complete failure. But let me tell you why these failures never killed us and never will. We don't give up when we fall, we learn from our failures and build upon them until they turn into a gigantic success. This here is the key reason that Toontown and Rin has achieved the massive accomplishments that we've made. Professionals often give up when money runs out, players turn against them, or their ideas are rejected. We aren't professionals, and because of that, we'll fail. But you'll see me working to the point of exhaustion before you see me giving up because of a single failure. The fundamental problems. This part is tricky. Just like every team, we have our problems and we know they're there. Luckily, these problems exist because of how professionally we take care of Toontown, rather than any sort of personal disagreements among team members that have led to the collapse of so many other projects. These problems are natural too. Many of you are part of other large gaming communities, and I challenge you with this. Have you ever been part of a game community that hasn't ran into problems in some fashion? It's a bit of a guilty pleasure to compare the criticism of Toontown to extremely similar posts that appear in TF2, Minecraft, and Oculus Reddits and countless other gaming communities that have issues just like our game. These issues aren't irrelevant though, in fact, they're healthy. In the lifespan of every successful game or project, there are high points and low points. Through the participation of the community and the action of the developers, given that they do work to resolve the problem, most low points turn to the high points that were even better than before. It's time to admit something. Toontown Ridden is at a low point and we need to fix it. Repeat that for me. But let's add some emphasis. Toontown Rewritten is at a low point, and we need to fix it. That includes you, me, and your four-year-old sibling who doesn't care about anything except for playing the canon game. We've known this as a team for a while now, and we haven't sat idle. We try to fix it, we gain some traction, and then we run into a road bump. If you're a close reader though, you'll know that we don't stop there. We try again, and again, and we're going to keep trying until we get it right. Let me tell you this, it is incredibly hard to fix problems on a team that works together so well. When there are no professional disagreements, no lack of talent, no corruption, and no question as to what our goal should be, it's hard to identify what exactly the problem is. It takes trial, error, and opinions on the team both inside and out. We aren't sitting here twiddling our thumbs, thinking everything is fine and dandy. We're working hard to try to figure out a good experience for us, a better experience for you, and all while juggling the many other commitments that we have. We want your criticism because it's the only way we're going to be able to solve things. Let's take a look at the current issue we see where some of the issues have came about. An internal battle for good. Toonfest has been a battle. There's been cannon fire, wounded soldiers, white flags blazing from both sides as our team has fought against the, 
the natural army of project management. A series of events has led to the roadblock that we're now facing and trying our best to resolve. Toonfest was started later than anticipated. Roger Dog took the reins as our new art development lead and put things back on track with the help of a modeler, Ziggy. This is a great change that increased productivity, but some valuable time was lost beforehand. The start of Toonfest was delayed due to the mandatory server maintenance that had to be completed before the update could be deployed. As a result of the maintenance, I worked hard to readjust our schedule, but ultimately fell short. After the maintenance was completed, there were still things left for me to do before we could launch the event. More on this later. The launch of Toonfest spawned an issue that never appeared during testing, which we quickly worked to resolve, but further added to the event's difficulties. The issue provoked our tech ops team to request a longer testing period for future Toonfest updates to ensure that we don't run into that again. And now this is where we sit with a bit of internal confusion on how to best handle it and Halloween quickly approaching to add to the workload. As you can see here, all these issues arose out of unfortunate circumstances that only appeared by trying to do what was best for the game rather than any sort of internal conflict that often leads to projects splitting apart. These problems are serious and need to be fixed, but are they unhealthy? For a team of armchair game developers, these issues are necessary. Without them, we'll never be able to gain the experience needed to prevent it in the future. We're still working to figure out what to do about Toonfest. It's hard to keep prolonging it and beating a dead horse, so to speak, but we really want you to explore the cool things that our team has been working on before moving on to the next set. If one thing's certain though, this experience has taught us a lot and has changed the priority of projects for the future. We know that you guys want more than temporary events, especially when these events are taking so much time away that could be spent on a more widely requested content. See, I told you we're listening. My personal tasks. Some of you have been asking to hear more from me, and it's only fair to tell you some of the things I've been up to. More so, however, I want to tell you the ways I've been looking to reassess my life goals and fit Toontown more into that equation. My first semester of college has caused me to start rethinking my priorities, as one can imagine. After taking a dip into my classes, I found myself really unsatisfied with where I am, and I've been spending a lot of time and research figuring out what path I should take. I always knew what I wanted to do in my life, but one thing I didn't anticipate is the immense success and experience that Toontown would give me, as well as the great people that have came into my life. As a result, I've had to do some rethinking. Even now, I don't know where I'll end up. But I'm looking at ways to speed up my college experience, or at least find ways to get more out of it. There's a lot of exciting things that I've explored, but sadly, until I get back on my feet, it's nothing I can report. Some of you may have seen a small virtual reality game that I created recently for an event, which unfortunately coincided with the delayed launch of Toonfest. I was off duty that weekend and not able to keep up with the ongoing issue that was happening there. And finally, the biggest thing I'm in dire need of figuring out are my Toontown rewritten priorities. My role in the team puts me in charge of organization and development for updates to Toonfest, blog post and storyline, all social media management, video editing, planning and development for Toonfest at OMGCon, all communication and professional outlets such as Jesse Snell, OMG Con staff, media, etc. Public relations, particularly in the event of major campaigns like the 1 million member event and creating game plans for the Toonfest delay. As I'm sure you've observed, the energy I pour into some categories takes me away from others, and it's led to some problems. When Toonfest was delayed, I put too much energy into managing communication with that instead of focusing on its development. Likewise, now that I've been pouring too much time into development, we're lacking a little bit on the communication side. It's a tricky scale to balance. These are all the things that I'm working to perfect, and things I'm always listening to your advice on so I can get it down to a science. Other team members certainly have similar struggles, and that brings us back to the root issue of trying to find the right balance so that we can learn from our mistakes and bring us back to that high point, an even higher point than before. This next portion is just talking about why he uploaded this post to the Reddit and not the Toontown blog. This is really not that important, so I'm just going to skip over it. And finally, at long last. In closing, I want to reassure you that Toontown and Rin is not going away anytime soon. I hope that this post has convinced you of that. Things are changing and we're readjusting. So I want to thank all of you who are bearing with us through the issues and try and help us fix it. You guys are the reason that Toontown is still here and will continue to thrive. While amazing that the player counts are low, support for Toontown has never been higher. We had a turnout of over 500 players at OMGCon just 4 months ago. And as the manager of our social media accounts, I can say that we've never had as much excitement as we do now. The combination of server issues, school, and lack of updates has resulted in the lower player counts, and we predicted that. 
It's nothing that worries us, especially when we come here and see the subreddit as active as ever and so many people talking about Toontown's great potential. It's a long process, but our game is going to head to great places. We need your help, patience, and encouragement to do it. And I know that's something that we have so many people eager to provide. Thanks for sticking with us, and you're awesome if you read through this entire post. I'll be around to answer questions, take suggestions, or just to say hello. And in the comments, he replied to one comment that I thought was kind of interesting, saying what his current goals are. He wants to upgrade the tools that the TTR staff is using so that they'll be able to make updates easier and higher quality. And they want to implement all features that they've talked about before they announce anything new, which I also think is a really cool idea. So yeah, I'm very happy that Joey made that post. I recommended that you did that last night in my other video, along with many other people saying the same thing on the TTR Reddit. I'm really happy he took our advice to heart and did it. It was a really great post, and now we are all caught up to speed, and we all know what's going on, and there's a lot less confusion in the Toontown community in general. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be leaving the link to the post in the description below if you want to check it out yourself or ask Joey some questions. And of course, I will be here with more Toontastic videos soon, covering all the Toontown news that happens, as well as starting a brand new series that I am very excited to share with you guys. So, please subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.